What's going on plugins? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the players coach cows to recruit to Arkansas. Before we get into this video, make sure you drop a like. And if you're new here, sub to the channel and become a part of the family. Now let's get into the video. Coach Cow is now the new head coach at Arkansas after coaching at Kentucky for 15 years. Now it's time to start his new journey, but he has one big problem right now. Arkansas lost a lot of players in a press conference. He said he met with the team and there's no team. I think it's one walk-on that's currently on the roster right now. He has a lot of work to do before the season starts. He's going to have to add a few players from the transfer portal and hopefully get a few freshmen to commit. He could add some freshmen that he's recruiting for Kentucky when he was the head coach. For the people who don't know what's going on with Kentucky, they're losing players left and right. Right. They already lost four recruits and a bunch of players are entering the transfer portal that were already on the team. Coach Cal got some good news today. Zavonimir announced he's transferring to Arkansas. When he entered the transfer portal, most people assume he's going to follow Coach Cal. He did a lot for Zavonimir at Kentucky. He was battling with the NCAA, trying to get him eligible. Zavonimir missed most of his freshman season because of drama around a test score and Kentucky's admissions office not let him enroll. He ended up playing 15 games his freshman year because Coach Cal was putting pressure on the NCAA and refused to give up on him. And I'm sure that meant a lot to Zavonimir that his coach went to battle for him. So if any player from Kentucky was going to follow him at Arkansas, it was going to be Zavonimir. He has a lot of upside, a center who can stretch the floor and knock down shots from the perimeter. He's good in the pick and roll, a decent shot blocker. He does need to become an overall better defender, but that will happen over time. He will be a day one starter getting a lot of minutes. For Kentucky, he had to share minutes with a lot of bigs. He won't have that problem now. I was hoping he would stay at Kentucky, but he had to do what was best for him. But at least he's going to a program and he's going to be with a coach that he's comfortable with. Now that Arkansas has his start and center it's time to get some guards and forwards lucky for coach Kyle Boogie Flynn is now available he just decommitted from Kentucky he was excited to play for coach Kyle this is what he said when he committed I chose Kentucky because the history of success with the guards that have came through there coach Kyle's going to challenge me to be the best version of myself he didn't promise me anything playing time shots he only promised me a chance to compete and fight the first fight is with myself every day and I'm betting on me so you can tell from that quote he has a lot of respect for coach Kyle and that's who he wants to play for so Arkansas has to be the favorites to land him. He needs a point guard, and again, Boogie Flynn will be a great piece for a starting five. He's ranked as one of the top point guards in the 2024 class. Coach Kyle will give him the green light and let him play how he plays, just like how he did with Robert Dillingham last season. Boogie Flynn's a three-level scorer who's a great shot creator. He has the ability to make tough shots. He's a score-first point guard, but he's willing to pass to his teammates and get him involved. Coach Kyle has to make it a top priority to get him. You need at least one player on your team who can go out there and create for himself and get you a bucket, and Boogie Flynn can do that for you. Carter Knox decommissioned from Kentucky and his rumors floating around that he will commit to Arkansas. Coach Kyle coached his older brother Kevin Knox at Kentucky so he has ties with the family so this could help him get him to Arkansas. When he first committed to Kentucky he said this, Coach Calipari has sent a lot of people to the league and I want to be a pro. He said he's going to make me a pro. I'm ready to hoop and win a national championship. So the main thing that was on his mind when he committed was being a pro and there's no better coach out there who can have you NBA ready like Coach Kyle. People can say whatever they want about his coaching but he will have you NBA ready and a potential lottery pick and for most of these top prospects coming out of high school that's important to him. Arkansas has some holes to fill and he knows Coach Kyle will make him a pro so I'm assuming he's going to announce he's committing to Arkansas any day now. He'll be a day one starter and have multiple opportunities to show off his skill set and boost his draft stock. He won't be on a stacked team like he would have been if Coach Kyle and all the recruits stayed at Kentucky so not being on a stacked team might be good for him. Carter Knox is a elite scorer. He has a strong build and can play through contact at the rim. He has a nice pull up mid-range game. Coach Kyle can play him as shooting guard or small forward it really doesn't matter pairing him up with boogie flynn will be a nice backcourt it's two kentucky players in the transfer portal that coach Kyle can go after the first player is dj wagner i honestly don't see him transferring to arkansas i feel like he's gonna go somewhere else and that might be the best thing for him he needs a fresh start and get his confidence back and playing for coach calligan is not really a fresh start for him but i could be wrong and dj wagner could be on his way to arkansas so we'll see what happens the second player is a dude darrow i could definitely see him playing for coach calligan i don't know what his options are right now but there's a good chance he's going to return to Kentucky but if that doesn't happen coach Kyle can use a player like him for leadership and toughness so coach Kyle made a big splash getting Zvonimir and I'm sure he have at least two five-star freshmen coming in I feel like news is going to happen before the month is over Arkansas fans how do you feel about getting Zvonimir do y'all think Carter Knox and Boogie Flynn will commit to Arkansas drop your opinions in the comments drop a like on the video and sub to the channel turn on post notifications so you know when I post more videos dropping this week I appreciate y'all and I'll see you in the next video. Till next time.